Aaron, with the talent on this team, why do you think there has been so much inconsistency to start the season? Understanding it's still a very small sample size, but that hitting's hard. You know, uh, it's a it's it's a game of failure. You know, we haven't, you know, collectively, um, you know, strung really good at bats together like we're capable of yet. So it's frustrating anytime you're not scoring, um, you know, the way we're capable of. So uh, you just really got to keep your nose down and really just continue to have and work for having quality at bats and trust that the results will follow from there. But, um, you know, uh, you know, anytime you go through something like this, uh, that, that that's frustrating, but it, it's also part of the game. I mean, uh, and you got to fight your way through it. Ken Davidoff, you have the next question. Aaron, what would you see with tie on tonight? Um, you know, just a lot of two strike situations, um, you know, where he wasn't able to kind of finish guys off. Um, I thought his stuff ticked up. I thought his fastball up was really playing. Um, but you know, some two strike, just, you know, some two strike walks, two strike hit batter. Oh, two there. Um, you know, it seemed like a lot of the damage was done with two strikes. So just unable to kind of finish off that last pitch stuff wise. I thought he was all right. I thought his fastball really actually ticked up, um, you know, uh, but, you know, the hit batter and the walk, you know, uh, he, O2, I think was the hit batter of Guriel, and then one, two loses Jansen to the walk there. So just kind of creating that traffic. Uh, but, but stuff wise, um, I thought he was fine. It's three and two thirds tonight. And, uh, Garrett has obviously given you length. Monty's done okay, but with the other guys, uh, just, just how much of a strain is that on your bullpen? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, I mean, part of that's, you know, by design as you as we continue to build guys up, um, but but we're certainly getting to that point to where we're, you know, a little higher in, in the build up, and uh, so, yeah, I feel like they're all ready to pop. I re I really do. I feel like the stuff's there, um, but yeah, you know, you got to. You know, it's it's hard to lean on the bullpen, you know, um, for as many innings every night. So, um, feel like we have the guys to do it, and and feel like they're close to really popping. Thank you, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Bruce Beck. Please unmute. Aaron, back to hitting. I know you hit it to three double plays, but Stanton had a two RBI single. Hicks had three hits. Frazier had a hit. Bruce had a hit. Guys that were struggling got something going here. Do you think that uh, they're close to breaking out? Yeah, I hope so. You know, it was good to see, you know, because, you know, for the first several innings, Ryu was kind of having his way with us. Um, you know, not a lot of hard contact against them, but I thought the at-bats in the final three innings, you know, against some of their leverage guys too, um, I thought were real quality. And, and, a, and a couple guys that, we want to get going, um, you know, hopefully some good at bats, some real good contact there, um, you know, can be a little spark and, and get us going. Cause we know, we know what we're capable of. We know what, what we expect to do offensively and, and uh, you know, hopefully a couple guys having some success can, can get the ball rolling for us. Thank you. Brendan Cuddy, you have the next question. Aaron, like Bruce mentioned, the three double plays got grounded into tonight, 11 coming into this game today. Just how tough is that to, to overcome? Well, I mean, if, if, if we're banging, um, not very, you know, we've, we've been overall, we've pitched really well, um, you know, and, and once, once we get it rolling offensively, you know, you're going to, you're going to hit into your share of double plays, especially, you know, with our team that, you know, we're not the fastest as a group necessarily. And we have a lot of guys that hit the ball hard. So that's going to come with it. And, in, and, and even when we're rolling, you know, we're going to, we're going to hit into our share of double plays. Um, so I don't really look at it as that. I just want us to, you know, kind of collectively really start grinding pitchers down. That's when we're at our best. And, um, you know, that's what we haven't quite done yet. What did you think of Bruce's at bat tonight? Uh, good. I thought much better. Um, you know, obviously smoked the ball in the gap, um, was in the fight and a lot of the at-bats. Um, so it was it was good to see him have some better at-bats. Eric Bowler, you have the next question. 
Aaron, did you uh, did you think Judge had a shot at the uh, the runner on the sacrifice fly in the eighth? He he always has a shot. You know, he, he, I, I get surprised sometimes when I don't really think, and then I realize it's Aaron out there, and he's so efficient, and he's so good. And he usually gives a really good long hop. So, I thought he made a really good throw. Um, you know, speed on third, and and you know a deep enough fly. You're, you're probably not going to get him, but Aaron made it about as close as you could. Thank you. Anyone else? Brendan? Yep, go ahead. Are you uh, still expecting Glaber to be good for tomorrow? And was there any thought of you know, bringing him in at any point tonight? No, no. He was, he was an emergency tonight. Um, I'm hopeful on tomorrow. Um, you know, I, I had a good day. Um, so we'll just kind of see where we are. I haven't checked in with him and the training staff post game, but hopeful that he'll be in there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Aaron, thank you very much. All right. So something that Boone said right there jumped out at you about Tyone. What was it? The fact that he couldn't put batters away. I mean, he gave up eight hits in this game, Bob, and six of them came in two strike counts. So an honest assessment from Aaron Boone in evaluating what went right and what went wrong, mostly wrong for Tyone tonight. You have to have a way to put batters away. And his stuff is good enough to do that. We've talked about the four-seam fastball up in the zone, the two types of breaking pitches. But that's how pitchers evolve. That's how they get better. That's how they improve. And for someone who hasn't pitched in close to two years, he's going out there and he's trying to figure out which sequences will work for him. I do think when he puts his head on the pillow tonight, he's going to review that second inning, and that's the inning that's really going to bother him. Hitting Goriel with an 0-2 pitch, letting Jansen get a walk after he had him 1-2, and then Palacios, the rookie, 2-2. Make him prove he can catch up with your fastball. Don't hang a curveball there and put yourself in an immediate hole. And just to underscore your point in Tyone's opener against the Orioles, and you can argue it's O's versus J's, but they can, they're major leaguers who can hit as well. He had seven strikeouts against no walks. So he had that put away pitch. Tonight he had three strikeouts. He definitely had a more swing and miss stuff against the Orioles. I agree with you, Bob. Tonight, four of the hits came on fastballs, four of the hits came against breaking pitches. So he was mixing up his pitches. He just didn't find the right sequence in order to get him through some of those jams.